still perplexed by the idiosyncrasies of this game. That's not a door! Oh, there's stuff behind it, though. Yep. I think it opens when you come back. Yeah, probably. That guy had a better place to be. He was going to the bathroom. Okay, that well. dude's also done with you, I guess. I feel sorry for that dude. He had to just stand behind the box and watch you kill his friend. He could have helped, but no. My He's just. Friend. He's just magnetically sealed to that box. That was weird. Why did that happen? I don't know. I guess they expect you to try to take out this guy first. And then let the knife-wielding maniac come up behind you. Yeah. With his, like, fucking fusion knife. Oh, I see. I don't, I, I don't see. Stop! Stop. Well, that was obliging of him. So we gotta go in the other one first. I'm surprised you can't just shoot out the focusing lens on the lasers. Well, I am also surprised about that. But... Okay. <laughs> Alright, N64. Yeah. Shit explodes. Man, that's what I always loved about Goldeneye. Like, shooting just random desk furniture would cause it to explode. Like the office chairs and the tables and the bookshelves. It's all gotta go. Everything must go. Violently, if possible. Oh. Let me guess, this door right here? Locked. Oh! Alright, well, I don't know what's over there, but... Uh... Ammo or... Oh, there's there's a bullets and a ladder. <sighs> okay, so if we go through that door there... I think all the doors at the ends of these hallways are locked. Yeah. So there's nothing here. Yeah. That makes sense. At least not yet. Which raises the question why I even have this hallway. Because you come back that way. Mm. Like I say, this is this these is way levels back. feel more linear and like less oh back and forth. But as you progress through the level, start the doors realize. start to open up. Yeah, and you have to go back and forth and back and forth, and it's just it never ends. The illusion of choice. On the upside, it's a checkpoint. Yep. Ugh. For once, hmm, that's put in a good spot. Oh boy. This part. <laughs> I respect that hustle, kid. Down he goes! <laughs> there he goes, flying through the sky. Okay, hang on, hang on. How will we ever defeat this, like, bell in a turtleneck? Oh, that guy just gave up. Oh. 
I'll give these two credit. They, uh, they, they, they did pretty good. Oh, never mind. You shot Jason in his unblessed elbow. Great. Samson? Who's the guy in the Bible where they dipped him in the magic stuff, but not his ankle for some reason? Achilles. Achilles. Yeah. Yes. Wait, Achilles was it? Was, he? was he? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's true. Right, it was Samson stole his story, but he had the hair. Instead of the heel. The hairy heel? Yeah, that was it. He had a hobbit foot. It, it, it stayed on John Luke for... for a short time. Oh boy. Uh-oh. Oh, what a nice little nook. You know what, even if you don't win here, at some point, these terrorists have gotta, like, talk about you as some sort of, like, mystical death bringer. He's killed so many of us. Oh, I see. I had to drop the... No? Did I... Okay. Maybe go that way? Yeah. Oh, no, I see. It's very similar. Yes. For some reason. Probably limited assets. the liquid metal terminator he's coming out of boxes <laughs> well all I got left is the pistol good old two shot Petey Bad day. It's uh, it's all going to shit. It's all going to shit. Let's right? walk a clock. Let's get the fuck out of here. We'll get the drop on them. We sure will. I think. Are they still here? They're just gone. Okay. Sure. That's fine. Don't tell me. You gotta push the button first. You know, in cases like this, games should just open the door. Like, you go to open the door and then John Luke goes to the keypad for you. But that would be too hard. Yep. I reckon. Maybe there's a health button. No. It's nothing. Oh. <laughs> Why? Okay, and that's not a regular guy. That's one of those turret machine guns, too. Like, was it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I recognize this room. We'll see you in a minute, folks. Each terrorist is polite enough to wait his turn. Okay, so. Up here. Okay, yep, alright, okay. 
that's uh, that's okay. Quite the nest they built for themselves there. You can shoot that box right now while you're in the safe zone, I guess. Oh, right, yeah, we're recording again. Whew. Sorry about that. Kind of forgot what we were doing. I kind of got enraptured by this whole... This whole mess. Of incident, game. yeah. <laughs> I, I was on Discord with some friends trying to describe this game to them. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm doing the Let's Play tomorrow. And my friend's like, yeah, so what do you play? And I'm like, Winback. He's like, what the fuck's Winback? I'm like, imagine if a Russian homeless man who doesn't speak good English tried to explain to you the plot of Metal Gear Solid. And then he's never actually played it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you know what the best part is? We have to do that again. We have to do that again. But the even better part is, the enemies killed me before the box could fall on <laughs> There's actually a trap there, I guess. Yeah. You, they drop a fucking box on you if you hide behind the yeah. crate. Like, you get killed by- you were in like a quantum state of hyper <laughs> We'll see you in a minute, folks. Okay, but... Now we have this to deal with. Now we're in the nightmare zone. I'll start recording it. Alright, we're- we're back to this place. This ethereal plane. But yeah, no. I I think my description of this is apt. The crazy Russian homeless man describing a game he's never played. Okay, John Luke, just, just shoot the man, please. There you go, Johnny. It's not it's not that difficult. Just Okay, I gotta get a little bit closer. There he is. Dead, dead. Okay, and this is where they got us before. Um, like right after this. Oh, okay. So why don't we just let the boxes do their thing this time? Yeah, I mean that's the way it's got to be. Wow, that was actually a good shot. I wonder if it's gonna get one of them. Uh, should be so lucky. Tom's Festival. <laughs> okay, but why though? Oh, my elbow. <laughs> oh no, my unguarded elbow. <laughs> So we fought a flamethrower man, a chain gun man, and now a rocket launcher man. I'm scared of what's the escalation. Um, it's less exciting than you'd think. Oh, uh, are we going down a couple steps now? Yep. Is it gonna be slingshot man? Um, bow and arrow. Uh, bow and arrow guy. Knifey Jim. Like one guy is a ninja, and another guy has two pistols. Actually, this is a bit of a puzzle. Please, John Luke. The terrorists, John Luke. Well, they took care of that for us. Like beautiful ballet. It's like poetry. Like every stanza rhymes. Okay, so I don't know what to expect past here, but it can't be. Good. It's gonna be a landmine or something. A narwhal just around the corner, ready to. 
I was about to say, what the fuck is with this box? Oh. Oh, well, of course. Okay, so now we go back. Just be ready, some dude's gonna pop around the corner. Yeah, there he is! To the trigger. Can I? There may be a way. I just have to. Can you shoot his elbow right now while it's unguarded? Now well, the angle is just off. But he does not seem to remember that we're here, so that's good. Sorry. We might make it out of this alive, folks. Yep, I had real good there. See, the worst part is the music always has that, like, crash. And I... Ooh. Hmm. No response. See if there's a bit more for this little area that you've been unlocked. Like, no, why would there be? What was the point of any of that? I think. I... Is there a button we forgot to push somewhere? Yeah, there's a button back there, and it moves a box, and then presumably you drop the box on top of the guy. Yeah. Let's see. Alright, we'll see you in a minute, folks.